Oi, what's going on guys? Gus Games here. Today we're going to be playing Hollow Knight. Never played the game before, but I have played other games like it. It is a Metroidvania, so I figured why not? It looks pretty fun. I did watch some Path of the Pain uh, playthroughs. Small Ant 1 made it look super easy, but we'll get there when we get there. But for right now, let's jump into the game. Alright, seems pretty basic so far. Alright, damage doesn't seem to be a big deal, but it does give you a stun lock. Money box? Chest? Double jump? Nope, no double jump. Up. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats which others can only dream. Oh, you, that's how you heal. Ah, I see. Let's go back and check over here. Um, I don't think I can do that. Interesting. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of King and Creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. Bear witness to the last and only civilization and the eternal kingdom, Hollow Nest. Hollow Nest. Nope, not yet. Okay, maybe, yes. Right, there's stuff down here too. Let me in! Dirt mouth. The fading okay. down. Oh look, there's people. Ooh. Temple of the Black Egg. Bamato Churo. Hello there. How delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Coral. One letter. 
Squirrel, without the S. <laughs> I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. An ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg, lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg? Is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do so love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. So it's like a mausoleum of sorts. Maybe we'll see you again. Squirrel without the S. Interesting. That was the door that was locked. And this is the map. Ah, <sighs> Nada. Zelda. Oh, nice. So expensive. That'll be useful. Ah, I see. So if we want to buy icons, we have to... Or if you want to mark stuff on the map, we have to buy icons. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But the nice thing is, is we can add rooms now. Very mad boy. Oh, come now, child. I don't have anything to fight you with, really. I'll save you. <laughs> oh, come on. Crazy. Oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let me bury me too. Let's bury me too. Jesus Christ, Myla. We can sing something else if you like. But if you start singing, I'll join in. I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. Nah, Myla, you're the one who has the best voice. Interesting. All right, Milo, if you say so, let's make some money. Well, yeah. But, Milo, how are you making money off of this? Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest something about a crown. I can't remember the rest of that one, huh? Maybe I'll just hum it. Interesting. Foreshadowing. Oh, look. My caterpie friends. Oh. <laughs> what is this? They give me money? Oui. Nice. You say anything? No? Okay. Interesting. Oh, that's a box. 
Oh, Opa. Que vou ler, mas This looks like a boss arena. Controlling that. You had tiny little arms, tiny little body, and a fat old head. And you think you could control all that? Alright, guys, I, I think we're gonna wrap it up there with the false knight for Jesus. today. Seems to be a good game so far. I'm getting really into it. I can see really yeah. quickly that I am missing a lot of things very early on, but you know, it's the way Metroidvania's work is progression and revisiting and progression and revisiting. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.